Did you know that the Quran described human development in the womb 1400 years before microscopes were invented? In 1981, Dr. Keith Moore, a leading embryologist at the University of Toronto, was skeptical when Islamic scholars showed him ancient verses. They claimed these texts perfectly matched modern embryology discoveries. Dr. Moore examined the Arabic term alaka, meaning clinging clot. Under his microscope, the 23-day-old embryo looked exactly like that, a small clot clinging to the uterine wall. Then came mudja, translated as chewed flesh. The embryo at this stage showed somite development, creating indentations that looked exactly like teeth marks. Verse after verse aligned with discoveries only possible through advanced imaging technology. The term nutfa amshaj described the mixed drop of sperm and egg fusion, unknown to 7th century Arabs. Dr. Moore was stunned. He publicly stated that either Muhammad had access to powerful microscopes, or this knowledge came from a divine source. This single chapter contained more scientific accuracy than entire medical texts from that era.